to talk to you this morning about the year of the altar. And I really want to get specific on your personal altar and your personal time with God. Even more specific, I want to talk about how God uses your time alone with Him for your discipline and development. In Hebrews chapter 12, verse 5, it says this, My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord, nor be discouraged when you're rebuked by Him. For whom the Lord loves, He chastens and scourges every son whom He receives. If God can't correct us in private, He will be forced to do it in public. Like any good father, He would rather correct us or punish us, discipline us behind closed doors than affirm us in public. Being able to say, this is my son in whom I am well pleased was not only enjoyable to Jesus, it was also enjoyed by the Father. David, who had been the great worshiper, ceased to spend time in his secret place and because of his weakened state, slipped into sin. Then because he continued to avoid his altar and God was not given opportunity to correct him in private, David's sin became Nathan's sermon. Ananias and Sapphira were too busy trying to look good to people while still protecting their own interest to spend time alone with God. They went so far from God that he knew that even public discipline could not restore them. So rather than discipline, he sent judgment. A wise man checks in every day to receive both the correction and the encouragement of the Lord. A fool only goes to the altar when he has a need or to look good in front of others. Discipline should be done at home in the secret place. But if you never go there, the only hope the Father has is to find you where you are and discipline you in front of everyone. Remember, your public life is what it is because your private life is what it is. God bless you, and I'll see you at the altar.